it it can feel and the sense of it and the implication of it can be quite different. Like if we're only, you know, like I was sharing the story of the fever, right? Like that's what, how much more normal human experience could it be? Like lying in bed, like not feeling well, you know, it's like, so, so, but then, then there is seemingly, if we have the impetus to do so, to explore that in a way, uh, not in any way to, 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 to sort of do away with the experience or avoid it somehow or negate it or escape it, but just, you know, we're just pure curiosity. Like, like what, what, what is this? What's actually there? that it opens us up to just, this, like I said, this entirely different way to encounter it. And what I would say from my own experience with all of this is that uh, it's almost like, you know how we seem wired like at a neuro, even neurobiological level for enjoyment, for pleasure, you know, we move towards that which the organism finds nourishing and enjoyable. I mean, we and we, we do, it's just in, very intrinsic to us, right? I think we can almost, you know, use that tendency we have in a in a way like with all of this stuff that I'm talking about, like because what I find is by it's it, it's without fail whenever I explore the the transcendental nature of my experience, for lack of a better word, it's more enjoyable, it's richer, it's deeper, it's much more than I think it is. It's much bigger and vaster and more inconceivable and open-ended and free and awe-inspiring. It always is. It never fails. It never fails. I can't really say why, but it's, that's just my experience. And so it's almost like, like I, I found myself asking like a few times over the last several months, in fact, like, how much do you want to enjoy this, John? Like, cause it's endless, like how much it could be enjoyed. That's what it feels like. Like how much, like, like, do you know how rich this moment is? <laughs> it's bottomlessly rich. It has no end to its richness. Okay, cool. It's here for the exploring. It's here for the discovery of just how this treasure has no bottom to it. It is endless, the richness that is here the lusciousness of it, the, 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 the sensuality of it, the, um, and how completely awe-inspiring it is. And, you know, even at a very basic level, if you start to tune into the awe-inspiring nature, you start to see more and more that is awesome about this moment-to-moment -moment experience, don't you? So even just at a very basic level outside of these kinds of inquiries, but then when you start inquiring into kind of the subtlety of this, the, the incredible subtlety of everything um, and the open-endedness of everything and the miraculous nature of it all, it's like stupefying, you know, truly. And um, in my experience, just endlessly so. So then it's like, that's there for us. That's there, like in it's it lies here and waiting for our discovery, is what I would say. And is in fact right here in our very experience, but maybe we're just overlooking it at times because of how we're orienting to the experience, imagining that it's ah, just living my life, same old, same old. <laughs> you know. Um yeah. And meanwhile, it's like, really? <laughs> This is here's the miracle, right? <laughs> this is the miracle. Is like I said to Alicia, you know, uh, in the context of being home, it's like I wrote this years ago. We overlook the miracle for one reason, which is we keep looking for it somewhere else. This is the miracle, isn't it? Here's the miracle of life. How is life here? The miracle of consciousness. The miracle of perception, the miracle of all of this that's being encountered, right? It's truly a miracle in the sense of inexplicable, uh, not explainable how this is here. And, and this is always, like, like I say, it just lies in waiting for our appreciation and how lovely that we get to partake of that, you know, that we are gifted with that in every instant, truly.
You know, it's so amazing. I have this experience every freaking time I do these meetings that as much as like I'm the one quote unquote kind of facilitating the meeting, whatever, it is an absolute co-creation in the truest, you know, sense of that word by your presence and your openness and your inquiry and your, that's what it feels like, you know, it's like just things arise out of each one of your curiosities and your openness and is really inspiring to um yeah that's all i can say it truly it truly is inspiring that feels like a good note to end on <laughs>